Hello, this is a short video on how to build a categorical frequency distribution. Now, categorical data, also known as qualitative data, are data values that are nominal. They are not or non-mathematical values. So you can see for this particular problem, we have a list of observed butterflies that a lepidopterist uh, was able to document at a way station in Azusa. So our goal is to organize this data into a table. And this table is called a categorical frequency distribution. So let's take a look at that process. First of all, we want to construct a table. And the headings of the table are the following. We need a column for class, tally, frequency, percent. Now, under class, we list all the different types of items that were observed. So we have the cabbage butterflies, the fiery skippers, the monarchs, morning cloaks, painted ladies, swallowtails. The next step is we have to tally the data. So what that means is you, you look at the painted lady and you count all the observed painted ladies. So let's do that. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And so we would, let's see, make sure. Let me go through it one more time. So the painted ladies, we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's actually six. Be careful. Be really patient with yourself when telling the data. But you can see that there are five observations. And then you would repeat that process for all the other butterflies. Once we tally the data to find the frequencies, you just add up the tally marks. So the cabbage butterflies, there's five, you put a five. Fiery skippers, there's nine, you put a nine. So that the frequency is just the number of observations. And then finally, we calculate the percent. So there is a formula we use to compute the percent. The formula is this. Uh, you take each frequency divided by n. Now n, that's the sum of all the observed butterflies. So let's go ahead and add up this frequency column. If we add up the frequency column, we will end up computing 42. So there's 42 butterflies that were observed. And then you calculate. And the way to calculate this, all this can be done on the calculator. So let's take a look at the cabbage butterflies. There's five, so you start with five and you divide by 42. Let's write that as a decimal number to rinse into three decimal places. Just divide five by 42 in your calculator multiply by 100, 11.9%. And here we're rounding to a whole of a percent, but follow the instructions that Connect Math will ask of you. In this case, we're just gonna round to a whole of a percent. And so that's how we get 12%. This process can be repeated with all the other uh, different observations. So for instance, the fiery skipper, there's nine, let's divide nine by 42. Nine divided by 42 is, if we round it to three decimals, 0.214 times 100 is about 21.4%, which rounds to 21%. And then you just repeat that process. And once that's completed, that is the categorical frequency distribution. We took this random data and we've organized it 
and we can use this organization now to construct graphs or to search out any type of interesting patterns. So we can compare this data to maybe previous data to see if there's a difference in the frequency of particular butterflies at the who visit the way station on a cyclical basis. Thanks for watching the video.